Matthew chapter number 7 verses number 1 and 2 Judge not that ye be not judged for with what judgment ye judge ye shall be judged and with what measure ye meet it shall be measured to you again God will measure to you exactly how you measured out to people if you're always short with people no patience with people then you are limiting God forgiveness of you because you can't tolerate people you're cutting your tolerance level off with the father let's read Judges 1 chapter number 1 verse number 7 and Adonai Bezek said three score and ten kings having their thumbs and their great toes cut off gather their meat under my table as I have done so God has required me and they brought him to Jerusalem and there he died this was one of the kings that Joshua conquered in the conquest of the promised land and Joshua and his men rendered him immobile and unable to fight by cutting off his thumbs and his big toes no longer able to run no longer able to maneuver a sword a javelin but he said I did the exact same thing to 70 other kings now God has judged me the same way you see I bet he thought he was riding high he had did that to 10 kings nothing happened to him he had did it to 30 kings 40 kings he thought he most likely was the toughest king in the neighborhood had done it to 50 60 even 70 kings he just knew more than likely he was unstoppable but he did not realize that God was going to judge him next for his own sin and that's what Christ is telling us don't judge people so harshly even when they do you wrong because when you judge them harshly even when they do you wrong then God just may judge you for when you do him wrong you see, God is fair and loving. And because he's loving, he's not going to let sin go unpunished. And so many times we as humans never see the sin that we commit. Never see when we hurt someone. We don't see this. We miss what we do wrong and only magnify what wrong is done to us but God sees all and so many times we could have done something to someone and thinking we are right but God will judge that person and us and God that's why God tells us forgive them Forgive somebody that did you wrong. And then I can forgive you for all the other times you have done people wrong. You see, in this illustration, we have a scale. We have five pounds on one side, three and two pounds on the other side. Different denominations, but yet it all equals. That's what God is trying to say. He's fair and just. And he wants us to be like him forgiving because if anyone get or has been done wrong more than anyone it's God Almighty so many times we as his very own children 
has done him so wrong. So many times we haven't done what he has asked us to do. So many times he's given us grace after grace, mercy after mercy. He let us get up. He give us life and we still go about our business. So many times we as humans do our loving father wrong and yet he constantly forgives, yet he constantly put up with us, yet he constantly tolerate us. He want us to have that same God love towards each other. God, we thank you for your love and your grace. We bless your name, Father. And we thank you for helping us to forgive and helping us to not judge. Thank God. Amen.